Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with an update video today. We'll go through some of the feedback from yesterday's video, some of the main things that were spoken about in the comment section, and I'll give my opinion on some of those and just have a basic chat. Coming to you again from rural Cáceres, spent the night here again on the way back from Portugal and heading back to Madrid later today. And uh, as you can see, I've got a spectator. Now, of course, we're heading towards day 200. A couple of comments in the comment section about that. I didn't think we'd get up to day 100, let alone 200. And to be honest, we could get even more. Not sure when this is going to end. But uh, as I said, creeping towards 200. And I will have a bit of a celebration if we get to that figure. Now, lots of talk in Spain at the moment about schools. Some of the problems that schools are having at the moment to stay open or at least to keep classrooms open. There have been a few outbreaks in classrooms which have forced certain classrooms to close and all of the students in those classrooms to go into quarantine. I think yesterday I mentioned a couple of schools in Madrid. The French school in Madrid had a problem, a couple of kindergartens in the north of the city as well, and I'm sure that there have been more cases since then reported in the press. Because schools, of course, one of the most difficult things to control in a health crisis like the one that we have at the moment. Now, we left Portugal yesterday, and as I was leaving, I heard on the radio that the Prime Minister announced more restrictions, restrictions about how many people can get together, how many people can be in the one place at the same time together, of course. Those restrictions are already in place in Spain, and of course, Portugal bringing in new measures. And we also said the other day that as of the 15th of September in Portugal, there's going to be what they call there a state of contingency, meaning that the government will have more power Hours if the health situation gets out of control. And case numbers in Portugal have been going up in recent times. I think the other day they doubled in one day. They went from something like 300 to 600 overnight. And the authorities there, of course, worried about the situation. And the UK has put Portugal back on its quarantine list. That didn't last long. Not sure how long Portugal was off the list for, but back on again as of today. So anybody that was thinking they were going to slip down to Portugal for a couple of weeks holiday, now has to put up with that quarantine when they get back because obviously case numbers rising again in Portugal. Now there's been lots of talk in recent times about why case numbers are so high in Spain. We've mentioned in recent videos lots of theories, lots of ideas as to why they go up quicker in Spain than in other countries. I'm not going to go over those reasons again but there was a comment in the comment section that caught my attention and somebody said that in Spain one of the problems could be that they have this no pasa nada attitude and the translation of that would be don't worry everything will be okay and somebody said that that could be one of the reasons they mentioned that in the UK maybe the philosophy is based on Murphy's law that if something bad could happen it most likely will but in Spain they have that no pass another a different mentality and that could be one of the reasons why they don't take things as seriously as they should coronavirus no pass another breaking self-isolation no pass another hombre case numbers going up no pass another now to be honest I don't know how much of the current situation we can attribute to that mentality but uh, you could add it to the list what do you reckon now I also saw a comment about that surfer in the Basque country that was arrested earlier in the week somebody said that maybe the way that that arrest was carried out was a little bit too over the top. We saw her being escorted from the beach with people wearing those protective suits, the hazmat suits, and it might have been a little bit over the top. But obviously the authorities are not taking any chances when it comes to the coronavirus. And of course, in my opinion, that woman was being a little bit irresponsible with her behavior. And I mean, let's be honest, is it that difficult to stay at home and self-isolate for 14 days? The waves are not gonna go anywhere. They'll be back another day. She'll be able to have another surf in the future. So a little bit selfish and irresponsible, but obviously she didn't think that anybody was going to dob her into the authorities, and that's what happened. And of course, now she's threatening the person on social media for recording the incident. And uh, again, unfortunately, there seems to be a lot of mixed messaging going on in Spain at the moment. We're getting different messages from different people. Fernando Simon, the health officer, came out yesterday and said that the situation is more favorable, that the situation in Madrid is improving. But the health minister has come out today and talked about specific measures for Madrid 
given the situation there in the city at the moment. So who do we listen to? Do we listen to Simon? Do we listen to the health minister? Bit of mixed messaging going on again, in my opinion. And that's one of the big problems that we have. Who do we listen to? Who do we trust? What is really going on? And finally, a comment that I should give a 10 minute Spanish lesson at the end of every video. That comment got 10 thumbs up. So obviously a few people think that that would be a good idea. And uh, to be honest, I am planning to get something along those lines up and running in the near future. I am planning to share all of the information that I have with regard to the Spanish language. My 26 plus years learning the language, all of the time that I've spent in Spain. Obviously my Spanish is not perfect. I'm not a native speaker of the language as they say, but I'm fairly happy with my Spanish level and that is what I'm gonna do, share everything I know with people on this channel. Not sure how I'm gonna do it, not sure yet exactly how I'm gonna do it, but uh, as I said, I'm planning to get something out there. So I'll keep you guys informed in coming weeks about Spanish lessons on this channel. On that note, I'll start to wrap the video up. Questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the situation out as you normally do. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.